We do want to check in with Chris right now, and Chris uh, Kai has been mentioning. Let's get the latest if you're heading out the door for the commute. Here's Lauren. Thanks, Chris. Good morning, everyone. We now have an accident on the Cross Bronx Expressway. Darlene, back to you. Lauren, thank you. 637 right now. It is the dark side to hosting a Super Bowl, a spike in prostitution and sex trafficking. Well, there's a lot of volume out there on the roads. You can expect a slow ride where we usually have one, but we also have an accident shutting down all lanes on Route 35 northbound out by Miller Avenue in Hazlitt. I'll have the latest on this and the rest of your morning commute straight ahead. All right, as uh, firefighters are dealing with that and frigid temperatures, it's really cold all around the area this morning, Chris. So we're getting there. Baby steps coming out of the deep freeze, Lauren. Baby steps getting to work today also. For many of you, we have some accidents out there causing some big delays. So we'll start with Long Island. An accident out there now on the LIE westbound out by Glen Cove Road. That shuts down the left lane. It's a slow ride all the way through Nassau County anyway because of the volume, but this is not helping. We also still have a water main break eastbound on Hempstead Turnpike approaching the Meadowbrook Parkway. That now shuts down two lanes. Over on the Cross Bronx, this accident westbound by Jerome Avenue as delays back to the Bruckner interchange. The Bruckner would be your best bet this morning. 10 minutes inbound at the Lincoln Tunnel. That's the heaviest of your Hudson River crossing so far. And heading over to 78 eastbound, this accident out by 287 that shuts down two lanes. It's very slow getting into this area. Also an accident on 280 westbound out by Laurel Avenue that you need to keep track of. We are starting to get some reports of delays and detours on NJ Transit buses in the area of where that Elizabeth fire is as well as a 30 minute delay on the river line. That's due to a disabled train though. And when it comes to subways, you do have delays on downtown two and three trains. Darlene and Michael, back to you. All right, Lauren, thank you very much. It's 648. We're still following breaking news. <laughs> Love Tavares. <laughs> Love Tavares. You went way back with that And Yvonne Elman. Yvonne Elman. If I can't have you. I don't want nobody, baby. baby. All right, we're about 100 years old. And we'll be right back with today's top stories and a check of weather and traffic. <laughs> Warren, we do want to check traffic before we go. Hey, we can expect delays in that area and some bus T tours, but we also have delays on the George Washington Bridge, about 20 minutes inbound right now. Right, Chris, one more check of the forecast. And one more cold one today. We're starting out single numbers. 40 by tomorrow, clouds rolling in, but it's quiet. 44 on Saturday. Yes. We even build on that Super Bowl Sunday. 47, maybe yes. a sprinkle Ooh. around. That's it. So we've we've done well here in the Northeast with that colder early next week. We certainly have. Today's show is coming up next. That's what's happening today in New York.